I have to tell you guys, uh, I have to disappoint you guys because to your wedding, where you just were just telling me about. Uh, thank you for the uh, invitation, by the way. <clears throat> Dude, Mallory hasn't even got an invitation. I've got the chlorophyll bowl already, so don't feel left out. But I have to, disapp I have Wait, to disappoint what? you because at least in New Zealand, there aren't any wizards anymore because the last wizard in New Zealand, the, 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 great, the great wizard, I was going to say great wizard, but they still have enough of them in America. But... Yeah. <laughs> Shoot ones, yeah, okay. Yeah. But the, the New Zealand wizard uh, has been fired after two decades of service. You're shitting me. I'm two not. Decades. Two decades of service. And uh, oh. yeah... Oh, Ian. citation. I, I need a citation on this. I think you're pulling my fucking leg. So, as you can see on screen, <laughs> New Zealand Council ends contract with Wizard after two decades of service. Ian Brackenbrew Chanel, who has paid 16,000 a year New Zealand dollars to provi provide acts of wizardy for the city of uh, Christchurch. And he was the official wizard of New Zealand. And he's got a hat and a beard, so he's obviously a wizard. I mean, when you got a hat and a beard like that, that's just pretty much proof. So what happened? Why is he being discontinued? Because wizards are a required thing. How do you play D&D? &D? Oh, I suppose in New Zealand, you just live your normal life. You're playing a fucking medieval <laughs> fantasy game anyway, just by living there. But how are they going to get around without wizards? Well, uh, uh, apparently they don't need them anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, they what the, they um, they were um, they were looking for different way because it, it was mostly like a sort of a like a tourist trap. <laughs> he was trying to it was he was sort of like a try yeah he was sort of promoting tourism in in New Ze in New Zealand specifically to Christchurch and. Um, the, the the city council figure, you know, after two decades, uh, maybe using some different means to attract tourists uh, is, might be a, a good idea, you know, something new. Wizards, wizards are medieval and we're not in medieval times anymore, so... And he was maybe also a little bit misogynistic. <laughs> So, uh, Mallory, or as I like to say, future Joan of Arc to be burnt at the stake. Um, what are your views on wizard? You pro wizard, anti wizard? Don't give it a depends, fuck. Two stone depends. to care. Well, it depends what side they're on. Like, if they're gonna like make um, bunnies appear, um, I don't know, shine on some glitter, then I would I would say that they say that they were good. But well, they're you, the ones that can make things go poof in a, a cloud of smoke. Are you happy with that sort of thing? Like, you're not really clear on your wizard philosophies here. No, because I, I think <laughs> I'm confusing them with clowns. Okay. Now, look, I'm sorry I'm going to have to bring this up, but there has been some conjecture amongst the community. Uh, look, ladies and gentlemen, um, I've, I've got to give the unfortunate news that Mr. Pebbles, the space cat, competition for Mallory and pre-selection for the, her presidential campaign of 2024 has sadly passed away, we believe. He's not answering his phone and we can't find him. And there are rumours he may have ended up in a stir-fry, unsubstantiated claims. He appears to have been, well, just mysteriously vanished. And uh, as we know, Mallory was having dinner with the Chief Commissioner of Gotham City, Commissioner Gordon, at the time. So obviously her alibi is watertight. So Mallory couldn't have been connected with the unfortunate disappearance of Mr. Pebbles, the space cat. So what are your thoughts on Mr. Pebbles, Mallory? Are you a little bit saddened despite the opportunities it's opened up for you? Yeah, I, I'm saddened. <laughs> there will be a, mem a, mem a memorial. Um, uh, it, it's a, it, it's tragic. I'm, I'm glad that I have uh, um, with. Uh, pay, I mean, uh, witnesses saying that I, uh, I, I was away when at the time of the kid. I mean, his disappearance at the time. But um, uh, yeah. 
maybe I miss that cat. Maybe maybe <laughs> maybe maybe before maybe before we um before we start making making weird accusations, uh, we should qu quickly quickly continue on. Well, yes. look, I, I'm sorry, we lost Fluffy the spider, and we understand how when an animal or a pet so close to you disappears, it can be tragic. But I mean, I miss miss Mr. Pebbles, and I'm sure you will. But you, it's glad you've turned up and you've showed composure necessary at such a loss. So, all right then, yeah. Well, Mr. Pebbles. May you rest in peace or rest in stir fry or be seasoned lovely or whatever has happened to you. We'll find out. But next week, guys, we'll know a little more about Mr. Pebbles' unfortunate disappearance. Perhaps he may turn up. Who knows? We're hoping. We hope for the best. And to Mr. Pebbles' family, where our thoughts and prayers go to you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. Back on track. Derailed that a little bit. I forgot to mention that one to you in pre-selection. Okay. Mallory for president, 2024, by lack of <laughs> default. Yeah. But uh, not, with the help, what, not with help of Versity, uh, apparently, because, yeah, no, he's, uh, he's done finito. Uh Despite the fact that he did things like rain dancing in New Zealand and Australia during droughts. Right. So, yeah, but uh, it, it, it was also a little bit misogynistic because um, that's why that is, might be also be one of the reasons he got uh, sent away because he said things like, well, Women, uh, he liked to tease women by telling that they were devious, and said they are uh, are cunning to get it, get get men who are thick. Who are thick? Now, do you mean thick as in not very bright, or do you mean thick within double C, which I think means uh, sexy curves, doesn't it? Is any urban dictionary dwellers here? Is that right? I I mean, it's, it's, means thick, it's, uh... yeah, but this is C K, so so yeah. Okay, do go on. He said, so, I love women. I forgive them all the time. I've never struck one yet. I never struck a woman because they are they bruise easily. It's, it's the first thing. And they'll tell their neighbors and friends. And then you'll be in big trouble. So wow. I, I can kind of see that, that, that the, the city council of Christchurch might be like, you know what? It's it's time in to, in to look into different means of promoting tourism in Christchurch. <laughs> mm. Yes, thumping uh, women is so last century, Mr. Uh, Wizard. You are, uh, yeah, probably not good to bring in the female contingency of, uh, of tourists. Oh but uh, from what I understood, he's he's still going to continue on a um, voluntary basis. Oh, we always need... Vol oh, so we can still access him. We're probably going to have to pay for the spells, though. He's not a voluntary spellcaster now. So uh, that is uh, the, the almost... Uh, that's the official end, but the, uh, but, the not the, uh, but not the complete end of the... Wizard of New Zealand. Mm. And of course, I've just noticed that uh, Jin, hello Jin, has yelled Shazam, which means he's turned from the mold-mannered dweeby Jin Zoo into a superhero Mary Sue. Good work, Jin. You have just watched an outtake of the Something for Nothing livestream. If you want to see the full show, you can follow the link in the description below. If you like what we got, please click the subscribe button and tickle that little bell. And of course, give us a like. See you next time.